<laughs> I don't do car talk all that often, so it's kind of hard to remember. What the hell? You just want to do car talk because you look so cute this morning. He says I look cute. Do I look cute or what? Or what? Or what? <laughs> how are you over there? Oh, I'm just ducky. Oh, stop it. No, how are you really? I'm great. It's finally fall. This is our last... Is this our last 70 degree day? Yes, no, it is. we have one tomorrow. No, well, no. No? No. Oh, maybe. No, I think so. Ah. But anyway, it's fall. And I like it. What? Is that it? That's it for right now. Give me a chance. Well, we didn't do, we didn't do a signature glass of wine last I cannot remember where to look in this down, darn thing. We didn't do a signature glass of wine last week. And somebody wrote and said, are you okay? So, I never know where to look. I ask you that every day. I know. Are you okay? So, here we are. I'm on my way to chemotherapy again. Chemotherapy. I go to chemotherapy every two, well, every other week. And I still have it till next October. But I'm not going into that right now because it's fall and I am so happy. And I still don't remember where to look in this darn camera. Do you know where to look? Straight ahead? Yeah, just into the camera. It's... Well, the camera's over here. Yeah, well. I think if I look over there, well, maybe you're right. I don't know. Oh, wow. We're going a different direction. Jeez, right into the sun. Bus. So, okay, so uh, what's going on? It's fall. Uh, life is good. Life is great. And um, things are good. Things are good. I've been collecting more cans of Pumpkin. See, I did. We, and and we, you've been weaving more. And I've been time. weaving more. Oh, I'm so excited to show you what I've been weaving. In fact, I really, I've had several people, do you notice, that ask me, can you show us how you're weaving? Yeah. So, I'm, I'm, what I'm getting the loom all ready for is to start weaving. You should do a video of you actually weaving. Well, that's what I'm going to do. Oh, well, that would be good then. That's what they want. Who's they? Some lovely people out there. I say, would you show us what you're doing, how you weave? So I'm going to, once I have it all ready to go and I'm ready to start weaving, yes, I will show you. He will hold the camera and I will show you what I'm doing. Um, but I have been really doing a lot of fun and I have a bunch of yarn on the way that I have several, several things going. I've got a beautiful holiday runner coming up. I have a, a set of napkins, beautiful napkins. Then I have another uh, runner which is an overshot, which is a pattern that he loves. And then I'm doing uh, more kitchen towels. Because someone had asked me about more kitchen towels. I've sold almost every one that I had, uh, in, and I only have a couple left. So I've got some more kitchen towels coming. And I'll show those on my Facebook page. I might even show you in, um, in one of the videos. Anyway, I've got four cans of pumpkin. I have uh, three acorn squash. I have, what's your favorite? Butternut squash ravioli. I have a big butternut squash, but I'm not going to make ravioli. No. No. Well, there's no point in it anyway. Trader Joe's sells those great. You talk louder now. Trader Joe's sells absolutely terrific spinach raviolis that are all vegan. And they're four bucks for a package of them that Whole Foods charges eleven dollars for and they're delicious and it a uh, package of those last us uh, each of us get a uh, dinner which i don't finish a hearty dinner. a hearty dinner and then i we always have leftovers that he eats the day before or day after so really when you think if about, i am the day before that'd be a good trick <laughs> so um it's a really good bargain so we've been really enjoying those in fact i fixed those last night uh last friday for dinner and I, I, I boiled them like you're supposed to, you know, until they're tender, just almost tender. And then I put them in a fry pan with some sauteed garlic and sauteed shallots. And then I added some grated l lemon rind and some great olive oil. And then some uh, lemon juice on top of that. And then we served it with a nice Parmesan. Now, whenever I and, talk about and cheeses and or anything like that, it's Chardonnay. always vegan. Oh, we had a wonderful Chardonnay. CS, that's the winemaker's initials, but I can't even remember what it is. Charles something. So it was a lovely dinner and with some garlic bread. Yeah, it was a good dinner. So that's what we had for the raviolis. And 
tonight, I think because I'm going in for the doctor's appointment, I think I probably will fix this chili, which is in the freezer, right? Yeah. Last night was tacos. Last night was tacos, yeah, it was, and they were good. They were good. I fixed him with the Trader Joe's beef, uh, some faux, you know. Um, faux beef. Fo well, yeah, Trader Joe's faux beef, a faux cheese, faux sour cream, lettuce, uh, uh, olives. Salsa. Salsa. Taco sauce. Yeah, and green onions. You had green onions. I had green onions, okay. yeah. Uh, <laughs> and I'm so excited. I've got two new books from Costco. I bought the, uh, the uh, new John Sanford Prey series book. And I bought uh, the new uh, David Baldocki uh, Memory Man series book. And I just found out John Grisham has a new book out. Boys of Biloxi. Mm -hmm. So I I put that on hold at the library, but it's 20 weeks to get the ebook. So hopefully uh, Costco will have it. Maybe I'll buy another hard book. And we have been enjoying some really good series. Yeah. I'm trying to get the names of them. Well, um, what? We've got we've got tonight to watch the last the last episode of. Shetland. What? For the season. For the season. For the season. That's it. Um, season so, seven. Season seven, yeah. So we have seen, um, oh, what we're enjoying is um, Miss Scarlet and the Duke. They're yeah. back. So we watched the first episode of that. We saw the first episode of the Magpie Murders. Interesting. Very, very, um, I won't say, uh, it's a little quirky maybe. If you wanted to call something quirky, a little quirky, it was fun. And so we're, oh, there, I can get us both in here. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, so we're, we're enjoying that. I'm going to get us right there so we can both enjoy it. And, and the baseball playoffs. And the baseball playoffs are here. And that means, what does that mean, come for, uh, World Series? Caramel corn. Is that right? I think mean, caramel corn. I never get the answers right. And, uh, I can't think really anything else we've been doing. I mean, I'm just we're just chit chatting here. Uh, have you read a book and finished it though? Your sad one, a Stephen King one. Oh yeah, I read. Uh, What'd you read after that? The Gods of Guilt, Michael Conley. It's a Lincoln Lawyer series. Which you really enjoy. I like that very much. Yeah. I like. Uh, I read two Michael Conley uh, lawyers, Lincoln Lawyer series books recently and enjoyed them both. But you know, I'm trying to figure out. We've seen another series that uh, we saw. Um, separation, no. No, it started with an S. Yeah. Uh, not suspect. No. Not seclusion. Oh, no. Uh, oh, separation. Sounds like uh, separation. No. No. Oh, anyway, it was good. It was very good. If we can figure <laughs> out what it is, I'll put I'll put it down below there. And it was really good. And um, I've been reading the. That one with Lacey Underalls, which I haven't finished. Uh, it's the judge one. The judge one. Oh, yeah. Uh, Baldocki. Baldocki? About the Board of Judicial Review. Board of Judicial Review. And I've been really slow in getting that because I've been busy Did you reading. finish Elevation? Or did you no, I'm, I am reading the Elevation, that book that he read so, of uh, Stephen King. Oh, oh, then I did finish the the, uh, the Court of... Yeah, I did. did. So now I'm reading the, uh, Elevation. And then after that, I'm going to read one of those Lincoln Lawyer ones. We haven't seen any movies. No movies. No, well, no has movies. Has there been a movie worth watching? No, that's the problem. No movies worth watching. So Most of the movies are disappointing anymore. You know, we waited forever for Jurassic World Dominion. We were disappointed. Yeah, we were. It was a non-event. Yeah. Even though we like most of the people in it. Love Joe, Jeff Goldberg. He's so you know, talk quirky. Oh my gosh, we started to watch that Liam Neeson movie. Oh yeah. Oh, it was just terrible. Well, well we Liam Neeson's terrible. movies are all the same. I will find you and I will <laughs> kill you. And it was another one. And he does it all the time. He finds them, then he kills them. And uh, <sighs> some of the movies are getting kind of sad when you see Liam Neeson getting so old and still playing an action hero and Clint, Clint. Eastwood. Oh. He's just an old, old man. I like Clint Eastwood, but 
you know, sometimes it's time to hang it up. He's certainly not playing Misty for me anymore. No. I hope not. Everybody's dead. <laughs> Except for him. He just won't go. He won't He's go. Hanging on. So I think that's it. Is that about it? Yeah. Can you think of anything else we want to tell no. our wonderful our wonderful friends? It's out lucky there. my mother isn't still alive. Uh, she would have been crushed by the death of Angela Lansbury. Oh that's right. Angela Lansbury uh, passed away. Yeah. And she did. She his mother absolutely adored Murder She Murder She Wrote. wrote. And she would sit there and watch episode after episode. Now you know what we're back into, and we watch it every night before we. This is what we watch. We go to, we do all the things we need to do. We go to bed and we watch Midsummer Murders. We pull up the old ones and we watch them, and they are so camp. We out, uh, don't we? Yeah. Don't we just we adore them? So anyway, that's what we would do every night before we go to sleep. But my mom loved Midsummer Murders. And no. I used to harass. No, them. she didn't love Midsummer. Not Murders. Midsummer Murders. She, uh, Murder she. Yeah. And I used to harass her. My mother was a salt of the earth, but she wasn't the sharpest knife in the drawer. So I used to tell her, you you just don't get it. Angela Lansbury is a serial killer. Everywhere she goes. Jessica Fletcher, yeah. In. Jessica Fletcher. Yeah, Jessica Fletcher, the character. Well, you could say the same about Midsummer Murders. My gosh, for a little community like that. Yeah, but... Angela Lansbury gets to the communities before the murders occur, oh, yeah. or she lives in the communities. It's amazing there was anybody left alive in Cabin Cove. Yeah. <laughs> so listen, anybody's got a good book they want us to read, or it has a good movie. We had a couple people actually send in movie things, and we just haven't gotten around to it. And I've got them though. I have them. So as soon as um. There comes the sun again. As soon as we have a moment, we will read them and let you know what we thought. And that is about it. Yeah, we're we, dull. We are dull. We are so glad that you're uh, here today. And uh, thank you for having patience with this crazy uh, car talk. But what we, what's happening, honey? We have trees. We do. Oh, turn. we do have some beautiful color coming, yeah. don't we? Well, what we're especially happy with is that you have decided to take this crazy trip that we call, with us, that we call life. Love you all. We will see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye. 